Mm. Um, I'm Charles Salube, Assistant DHO in charge of maternal child health. And uh, I work with the Wundibu Joe local government. And I'm here in the hills of Kakuka in Sindhla, sub county. We are here carrying out an outreach uh, for maternal child health, supported by Save the Children in Uganda. And we are, uh, we are carrying out um, a variety of activities, antenatal services, we are offering antenatal services, uh, family planning, immunizations, and health counseling and testing. Yeah, uh, the challenges we are facing in this uh, exercise that we are carrying out, Wundi Bujo itself is uh, hard to reach, and uh, being uh, hard to reach, uh, it is a mountainous place. So moving from the health facility to where the outreaches are becomes difficult because of the, uh, the difficult terrain. Moving from uh, one of the health facilities to where we are supposed to carry out the services takes us a long hour. And yet, uh, when we reach at the site, we get many clients waiting for us. And because we have to plan for the time to travel back, that one makes us sometimes not to, uh, to complete, uh, to give them, to, to, uh, that one makes us to leave others unattended too. Then the other challenge, as I've already said, that uh, which is hard to reach, we are failing to attract health workers. And therefore, at a health facility, you will find that you are having very few, uh, you are having very few health workers. And in the end, when we move to the outreach site, uh, we are overwhelmed by the numbers, uh, the numbers of the clients. Then, Kakuka being a health center three, idea that we are supposed to have a midwife who is stationed at the, the station but uh, because we lack a midwives the facility does not have a midwife and therefore that one is making us not to offer uh, services that are required then the other challenge that we are having is that um, we are lacking some of the supplies we are lacking the equipments to carry out uh, the activities we, are, we do not have things like uh, uh, phytoscopes uh, because of the limited funding. Then the other challenge that we are having is the funding. The funding itself is not adequate. Uh, this Kakuka Health Center is supposed to be getting like um, uh, three million per each quarter, but because of the less funding, uh, last la the last quarter it is. Kakuka got uh, point, uh, 300,000, 300, 300, which is not adequate. And yet, the center has many, uh, five outreaches. So we appeal, uh, we appeal to government of Uganda. We also appeal to save the children to continue supporting us. Because we know as a, as a partner, save the children at one point, they are going to withdraw. And yet, we need to, to take services near to the people. Otherwise, we are grateful to the support that Save the Children is giving us in this sub county. Uh -huh. In this program of maternal child health that Save the Children is supporting, we have, uh, we have registered uh, successes. And these successes are one, as I told you earlier, where Kakuka Health Center has been ha is having five uh, outreaches, and because of uh, the limited number of health workers at the facility, they have not been able to be making the outreaches in these uh, outreaches. But because of the support of Save the Children, we have been able uh, to go to mothers who have not been going to the health facility. We have, been, we have reached the mothers and we have offered them services pertaining antenatal services, pertaining uh, immunization, family planning, uh, PMTCT and health testing and counseling. Uh, the other achievement that we have got, uh, the, the, the other achievement that we have received uh, during this, the, this uh, intervention that is being uh, supported to us by Save the Children is that now we are, we are able uh, to make many outreaches 
in one month and so far we have registered because Save the Children is working in two uh, health centers that is Kisuba and Kakuka we have been able uh, to register we have been able to register many mothers many mothers who are attending antenatal services at the same time we have been able to register uh, many mothers who are now uh, taking the services of family planning we have been able to register many children uh, who have come for immunization and with that we we are seeing that we have been able to take the health services near to our people which otherwise we have not been doing previously yeah so uh, as uh, save the children is supporting us uh, we intend to ensure that uh, we prevent the deaths of our mothers we prevent uh, the deaths of our children and we make sure that uh, Mothers who are pregnant do not transmit HIV to their unborn children. And uh, we also intend to make sure that as Save the Children supports us for these years, by the time when they are pulling out, we shall have built capacity to maintain these outreaches. And we shall have even built capacity to have enough health workers to continue carrying out these outreaches. So we, are, we know that as they continue supporting us, uh, uh, we shall be able, uh, we shall, when they pull out, we are able to sustain the program. Okay. Uh, with this program, uh, we know that as we continue, we shall be able to reduce maternal debts, we shall be also able to reduce uh, child debts, and we shall be able to make sure that uh, our children are well protected. And we also uh, wish to, 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 we wish also to, to uh, we also wish to make sure that when uh, some of the children stop supporting us, we shall have built capacity to make sure that we maintain this program, we maintain the outreaches. Yeah. So I appreciate the services that Save the Children in Uganda is giving to this area.